back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm alana reyna and i just moved to miami a month ago well a month and a day and i'm really loving life so far can't complain there's been some ups and downs some little struggles and if you follow me on instagram you've probably seen a lot of them <laughs> but overall i'm just really loving life here and i have been super overwhelmed by posting on all platforms and editing these youtube videos so i'm not quite as up to speed as i would like as i'm filming this right now i still have yet to post the first weekend in miami vlog which technically was part of the move-in vlog but i had to split in two because it was getting so long and then i also have another like regular weekly vlog that i started to film and kind of gave up because i was so overwhelmed that week and realized like i'm not ready for that yet so i still have to edit all that obviously if you're watching this it's already up but i am coming up to or i just got to west palm beach to meet up with a friend and i figured i would just film a little weekend of my life video so i just got to this place called grandview public market and it's a really cool like food hall with some shops and stuff kind of like a warehousey vibes i came here like four years ago the other time the only other time that i've been to west palm beach when i like flew down here for a trip so i was definitely excited to come back there's a restaurant i've been specifically wanting to visit it's called ila and co and i'm totally influenced by shayla quinn because her boyfriend works for them and i've seen them go in brooklyn a few times so thought i would check out this location but i'm super excited because a friend i'm meeting was my literal day one best friend when i lived in san diego and she moved back to tampa a few years ago where she's from and she and her husband were here for the weekend doing some like scuba diving or something they're like so adventurous and like outdoorsy so i don't even know what they're doing but they're checking out and heading back to tampa so i came up to meet them for lunch and i'm really excited to see her i have not seen her in over five years which is crazy that i've known her for 10 years so that is wild but i'm very excited to see her and I haven't seen her husband since I left San Diego. So that was like seven years ago. But either way, it'll be fun. And then after, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I brought stuff to go edit at a cafe if I want to do that. And I brought stuff to go to the beach, which is more kind of what the vibe is. Because it's really hot and sunny today. So I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. But I will definitely keep you all posted and you all come with me, whatever I decide to do. But it is hot AF in the car, so I need to go get out and go check out the restaurant. <laughs> A giant duck <laughs> i'm feeling a little sick to my stomach about that but anyways i had a really good time with my friends my friend and her husband um funny story i actually met him first because he was living in the building i lived in in san diego i met him like my first day there and then i met her later that night because they were dating at the time and long story short after you know dating other people and getting back together and living in a few different places they are now in tampa where she grew up so they were here for the weekend doing some diving like i mentioned and I'm just glad i got to meet up with them before they drive back very lovely it is gorgeous out it's a hot day but it's like sunny so i'm gonna go stop at this really cute little cafe called hive and there's a home store attached to it it looks like the whole block is like taken up by this multiple like parts of their store and cafe so excited to check it out and then um depending what time it is when i'm done i mean it's 3 30 now i don't think i'll be in there that long 
I'll either maybe stop and do some editing at a cafe or go to the beach. I'm really feeling like beach since I didn't end up going last night after my walk. So I'm gonna probably head to the beach after. I'll either just kind of do a walk by the beach and maybe sit and read or I'll change into a bikini and try and tan, but it's already getting kind of late. So I need to get going. Hey y'all, good morning, happy Sunday. I'm getting a very late start today. One, because it's daylight savings today, which I'm honestly not happy about because since I moved here, I've like finally got my sleep schedule back in order from going to bed at like one or later and waking up at nine or later to going to bed by 11, 11.30 and waking up by seven, 7.30. I've been loving it and I don't use an alarm. I love that I just am woken up by the sun so today i woke up at like 8 20 which again is like technically 7 20 but not happy about it and i don't like that it's already 10 45 and i haven't even eaten breakfast but the other reason that my morning got so derailed is i had a big fight with my mom over text which has been brewing since wednesday morning love that for me so anyways that definitely threw my morning off my mom does not watch my videos so she's not even gonna see this but I'm sure y'all can relate. Anyways, I think that it's resolved. So I was like, you know, I need to like move the energy around a little bit. I cannot sit and eat or just eat at all if I'm upset or like feeling emotion stuff. And I already meditated and like did tapping before we really got into it. So I'm like, I don't really want to do all that again. So I was like, let me just go down and get my packages because I have a bunch of stuff from Amazon. So I went and got them and I figured we can unbox together before I make breakfast. So let me get my little box opener. By the way, I have this really cute one also from Amazon, so meta. It's like a little cloud and then it's like a box cutter um, and it can like lock out. But honestly, I'm not sure if I like box cutters for opening boxes because it's so sharp that sometimes it like cuts into the cardboard instead of just cutting the tape, if that makes sense. So sometimes I'll just use like my nail key or um, a pair of scissors. Okay, here she is. It is a vacuum, a cordless vacuum. I don't think you can see because it's very white, but I'll show you when I take it out. And I paid $200 for this Amazon one instead of paying a few hundred more for the Dyson because 
It is so pretty. Let me show you all. Okay, I don't know if I want to do the whole unboxing right now because I might actually film it for like TikTok or something. But look how pretty. It's like matte gold and then like this creamy white. Um, obviously, this is just one piece of it, but very pretty, very aesthetic. Um, it was like the type of vacuum I wanted and it got some bad reviews, but mostly the reviews were good. So I figured I'd just try it out and see if I like it. And if I do, then I'll be very happy because it'll be very pretty, like sitting out charging instead of feeling like it's some ugly machine I have to hide. I'm all about the aesthetics, you guys. All right, look at this. Moving on to the next thing, just kick that off. <laughs> okay, I got some jewelry, which I will show y'all, of course, as we're unboxing together. Okay, I have to bring y'all over here, bring you a little closer while they're opening smaller stuff. Okay, so the first ones are these like twisted hoop earrings which I feel like are just really kind of cute, elevated versions of what I'm wearing now. I think it's the same brand. They're just like twisty little ones and they're just very cute and lightweight and like small. I like the small ones for everyday wear, so love that. The other one is a chain that I ordered for my Hamsa pendant because the chain is like all um, like rusty or whatever and I just need to replace it. I don't know if this is the right... So it's like a Figaro chain. It's very thin. I think it's three millimeters and the length is 18 um, inches. So I'll see if it fits. Um, it looks nice quality. So I will report back in a little bit, but let me keep opening. Okay, so I got some pillowcase covers for the couch. The pillow, the pillows, did I say that right? Pillowcases, not pillowcase covers. <laughs> pillowcases for the couch but the pillows are coming later so let's show you all these they're supposed to be linen but i don't know if it actually feels like linen it's kind of like a thick linen i guess and they're pretty big we'll see if this ends up being a good size it might be actually a little bit too big but they have like this button detail and from what i can see it looks like it matches the blanket on my couch but again i'm not sure how i feel about the size i might end up getting a size down I think I ordered 24 inch pillows, but maybe you need the 20 inch. We shall see when I get the pillows. Okay, so I actually ordered this coffee table book the other day, but the one that came looked dirty and used, and this one does too. So I'm like, what the hell? So I don't know. I'll return whichever one looks worse, I guess. But it does look really cute on the coffee table, so I'll show you all that in a few minutes. Okay, I'm really annoyed because this is a lamp like the hanging lamp that I have one of in my living room right now. I just have it on the floor since I don't have anything else in the living room. But I thought my milk frother came and that's what I was most excited to go down for. So don't love that for me, but I'm gonna put some of this mess away so I can actually eat and then I'll come check back in with y'all. Okay, so good news. The milk frother actually was delivered. For some reason, they put it in the mailbox. Like they put a key in my mailbox and it was there instead of in the package room which is weird and annoying but whatever i got it so happy so i'm going to go make my little machacita and eat breakfast and then finally get ready for the day because i'm itching to do something it's already 11. <laughs> I showered and washed my hair 
and I'm just chilling. I'm enjoying that I'm having such a chill, boring day. I'm not mad at it at all. The beach was really lovely, even though it kept kind of like raining on and off. It wasn't like the best weather. The water wasn't very warm, but I wasn't a part of the beach where directly behind me, the entrance from the street was blocked off because that whole street was under construction. For some reason, other people didn't just like walk over. So it was very empty, which I was grateful for. And I hope it stays that way because I do not like to be crowded around a bunch of noisy, annoying people. I just want the beach to myself. <laughs> so that was really nice and it was just very relaxing. I did get a little bit bored, which again, I'm not mad at, but like normally I'll be like fine for hours at the beach without getting bored because if it's like really nice and sunny, I'm just like enjoying tanning and feeling the heat of the sun on my skin which wasn't the case today. And when it's warmer and the water is warmer, I like to spend a lot of time in the ocean, which again was not the case today. And also the book I got was not in two. So I also wasn't even like, not. I was like bored by that. So again, not mad at it, I still enjoyed it, but definitely not like my optimal beach day. So I came back around four something showered washed my hair and now we're here and i'm just chilling i'm not in a rush to like do anything or go anywhere i was debating if i wanted to get food to cook tonight but i just do not i do not want to do that and i have dinner plans on tuesday so i don't really want to like cook a bunch of food and then have dinner then i'll have leftovers for wednesday so i think i'm just gonna go get food like a um, falafel or something and then i'll probably have leftovers for tomorrow then I'll go to dinner Tuesday, so I will show y'all what I get, but then I think I'm just gonna chill the rest of the night, so probably end the vlog after I get food, but I'll at least show y'all what I end up getting. Y'all, it's about 5.30 I think, and obviously I showered and washed my hair, and I'm just chilling. I'm enjoying that I'm having such a chill, boring day. I'm not mad at it at all. The beach was really lovely, even though it kept kind of like raining on and off. It wasn't like the best weather. The water wasn't very warm, but I wasn't a part of the beach where directly behind me, the entrance from the street was blocked off because that whole street was under construction. For some reason, other people didn't just like walk over. So it was very empty, which I was grateful for. And I hope it stays that way because I do not like to be crowded around a bunch of noisy, annoying people. I just want the beach to myself. <laughs> So that was really nice and it was just very relaxing. I did get a little bit bored, which again, I'm not mad at, but like normally I'll be like fine for hours at the beach without getting bored because if it's like really nice and sunny, I'm just like enjoying tanning and feeling the heat of the sun on my skin, which wasn't the case today. And when it's warmer and the water is warmer, I like to spend a lot of time in the ocean which again was not the case today. And also the book I got was not in two, so I also wasn't even like, not. I was like bored by that. So again, not mad at it, I still enjoyed it, but definitely not like my optimal beach day. So I came back around four something, showered, washed my hair, and now we're here. And I'm just chilling, I'm not in a rush to like do anything or go anywhere. I was debating if I wanted to get food to cook tonight, but I just do not. I do not want to do that and I have dinner plans on Tuesday so I don't really want to like cook a bunch of food and then have dinner then I'll have leftovers for Wednesday so I think I'm just gonna go get food like a um, falafel or something and then I'll probably have leftovers for tomorrow then I'll go to dinner Tuesday so I will show y'all what I get but then I think I'm just gonna chill the rest of the night so probably end the vlog after I get food but I'll at least show y'all what I end up getting. Okay so here is my food not the prettiest presentation because obviously it is takeout food and also falafel is just messy but I'm so excited I'm going to eat this and chill the rest of the night. It's super loud because the door is open and the washing machine is going but I did get the pillows the pillowcases I showed y'all before, so I didn't want to leave y'all hanging, but I'm low-key scared to open them because they're like vacuum sealed and oh my god, they're like brick hard. <laughs> I feel like if I need to return it, it's gonna be too hard to return it once they're expanded, so I don't even know if I should open them to be honest. Okay, sorry if it's super loud, but I figured I'd bring this over here to see if this is gonna be way too big. And 
Look how massive this is. It's like the size of my couch. So I think I'm just gonna leave those pillows in their vacuum seal and just return them along with these pillowcases and order smaller ones that aren't ridiculously huge for my not so huge couch. Okay, so now that I'm home from getting food, I'm gonna eat and chill like I said. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the kind of like regular Miami weekly weekend vlog so far. Definitely more to come. I'm hoping to get into a more regular rhythm once I'm actually caught up because as I'm filming this right now, I still have to post the rest of my move-in vlog, which will be like my first weekend in Miami, and then another weekly vlog that I filmed like two weeks ago, I think. I'm like losing track at this point. But my point being that I'm not caught up yet, so I don't know when this will go up. Obviously, once you're watching this, the other ones will also be up, and hopefully it'll be in my groove. So please subscribe, stick around, see what I have in store, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!